What's up everyone? Chris with B minus demos here. And today we're talking about plugins. All right, everyone. Hey, if you're new here, I genuinely appreciate it. Uh, if you're returning, you guys are awesome. I love it. I love the interaction that I've been getting recently. If you stuck around in this video long enough uh, to get past that uh, opening joke, uh, thank you so much. I just couldn't not do it, you know? If you guys would do the YouTube thing, like, subscribe, share, turn on notifications, all of that stuff really helps. Uh, I, I like getting these videos out in front of people. Uh, I like being able to interact with people and I hope that I'm offering something that, you know, some of you guys really enjoy. As I said in that super lame opening joke, Today we're gonna to take a look at some plugins, some of my favorite plugins that I use and have used over the last four or five years. I'm gonna set the parameters for this real quick. I've got five Marshall-based kind of high gain uh, <clears throat> plugins that we're gonna look at here from five different um, uh, companies, I guess. They're not really manufacturers. Companies. Five different companies. I don't know why I made that more difficult than it has to be. We've got the Tonocracy Brit 800 based off Marshall JCM 800. Uh, then I got the Genome Albion, which is also supposed to be based off of a JCM 800. Then I have, what do I do next? Uh, then I have the STL Tones J800, which JCM 800 again. Then I have the SoftTube uh, Marshall JMP2203. Uh, and this was kind of the predecessor to the JCM800, so that's why I included it. Um, and then I have one that's a little bit of an oddball. It's Simul Analogs uh, JCM900. Now that last one, many of you may not have heard of before. I had not heard of it. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing. It's, if I remember correctly, it was based around like some kind of uh, coding project or something that, that some students had, maybe college students. Uh, and I used to own a JCM 900. And while this isn't perfect, I think for free, it's a pretty decent uh, replication of that sound. I started using plugins probably about four years ago. Um, shortly before I moved into this apartment, I knew I was going to be moving and I couldn't bring the rig that I had with me. Um, so I sold all of that and the first thing that I really got into that I enjoyed was STL Tones. Uh, so I started there and over the years it's just kind of progressed and I've started using different things and it's become a huge part of what I use for making my videos here. Getting into guitar can often be really expensive and I think uh, things like plugins really kind of help bring down that barrier for people who are just getting into it. So, we're going to do two sets of videos. The first set is going to be uh, pretty much everything set flat. If it's got a presence, I turn the presence up just a little bit, but pretty much everything across the board is set flat, and then the volume is adjusted just to make sure I don't clip, and to make sure everything is relatively even. And it's all going to go through the Own Hammer Rockbox uh, 99 Vintage 30 model that he has. Uh, I'm using the modern cab on the third uh, tone setting. For this first set of videos, I'm gonna use my Pinebox Customs Motel, which is like a low gain rat, uh, just to kind of see how it accepts, how each uh, plugin accepts, you know, a pedal like that. For the second set of videos, I'm gonna dial everything in a little bit more and instead of using the Motel, I'm gonna use my Boss SD-1 to kind of push everything like I would a real amp. So let's get into these sounds. That was Tonocracy. Next, we're gonna go over to Genome. Pull this up here, all right. That was 
Alpha's genome. Now we are going to jump into the uh, STL tone. This is the one that really first got me into the digital stuff. It was the one that really got me into JCM 800s uh, going after them like this. <laughs> going to uh, that JMP. Again, this one's a little different because it's not a JCM 800, but this is what the JCM 800 was based on. jump to that Simul Analog JCM900. Uh, again, this one is super different, um, but it's, it's free. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> So there we go. That was just a quick little look at everything is set flat. I just wanted to see how each of these responded when I kicked in that pedal. All right, so now we're gonna switch the setup just a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna dial in tones a little more for this one, and I'm gonna use the Boss SD-1 instead of that Pine Box uh, Motel. So again, we're gonna start with Tonocracy. Uh, we're gonna go in the same order. Here's the settings on the screen. And again, I'm going to be going through, I'll kick in the overdrive. This time I switched. Uh, I am not using the Motel anymore. Now I have my uh, trusty uh, Boss SD-1 set up. All right, let's see, that was the genome. What do we got next? Next, we're going back to that STL tones. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, to me, out of the three like actual JCM 800 models, that one sounds the most different than the other two. Um, I don't know, it was the first one I got, and I do still like it, but uh, just out of these five, it's definitely not my favorite. Uh, now we've got that soft tube JMP. <laughs> getting back to that JCM 900. Again, obviously this is very different than the rest of them. I just thought it was a cool thing because it started as like a, a project for somebody's class or something like that. And I had a JCM 900 and that really reminds me of that. Now that all that is out of the way, before I go into my final thoughts, 
I'm gonna address the one thing that a lot of you were probably asking, and that's where was Neuralamp Modeler? Um, and I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not here to trash anything, I'm not here to break anything down. I love the idea of NAM. Uh, this kind of open source, um, you know, like belongs to the community kind of thing. That's super punk rock. I love it. And I am eventually gonna do a video on it. But the truth is, when it comes to using it, I do not like NAM. It's not for me. It's not bad. It's just not for me. There are too many barriers. It's too inconsistent. It takes too long to get it going. If I pull up my DAW and pull it up through the DAW, I never have an issue with it. Um, but if I'm just trying to pull up the app because I just want to play real quick, test something out, uh, it's just, it's super inconsistent. Half the time it works, half the time it doesn't. I also don't love the idea, like you have to pull in an individual sound and that just, uh, there's too much time commitment for me. So NAM is not my thing. I am going to do a video on it. I'm not gonna trash it. You're never gonna hear me do that. People work hard on these things and I love and support the idea of NAM, but in practice, it's not for me. And for the rest of these, I will say, I guess my final takeaway is none of them are bad. None of them suck. Tonocracy is free, which is amazing. Um, I think if someone said, hey, you can only have one of these forever, I'm gonna pick Tonocracy. Um, then you have that Simul Analog JCM 900, which again is free. Uh, and I think that's completely usable. Um, also with that pack, they have a Fender Twin. That's pretty good as well. I didn't pull that in because that's not what we're doing here. Um, <clears throat> Genome is fine. Uh, I don't like running Genome with uh, pedals. I, if I'm gonna run Genome, I like to use the built-in stuff. But so, so Genome isn't really for me in that way. Uh, same thing with STL Tones. I love STL Tones. Um, the, there's two ways, two kind of primary things that you can do with STL uh, Amp Hub. You can either do the monthly subscription which gives you access to everything, but you don't really own anything, or you can buy some of the models, which is what I've done. Like that uh, J800, I bought that for like 50 bucks. Um, and then you have the Softube uh, JMP, which honestly might be my favorite, but also is the most expensive. It's $100, which isn't necessarily expensive on its own. Um, certainly, you know, way, way less than going out and buying a JMP. Um, and it just, it takes pedals so, so well. I did use the Ownhammer IR on that, but I really love the IRs that are built into it. Um, and I just love that and Tonocracy to me take pedals the best. And for me, that's a huge part of it. A lot of times when I'm playing, I'm sitting down to throw a bunch of pedals in front of it and see what kind of noise I can make. And if everything is super hissy and fuzzy and I don't feel like it represents what that pedal really sounds like, then it doesn't matter how good it is for something else. It's not gonna work for me in that scenario. So that's why for me, Tonocracy and Softube are my favorites. Um, Currently, I'm using a demo version of Softube uh, because I wasn't willing to commit to buying it without really testing it, and I'm still not 100% sure just because I don't know how much better it is than Tonocracy. Anyhow, look, I really appreciate you guys sticking around for this one. Um, you know, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's anything specific you want to see. And uh, let me know if you like these kinds of videos and if you like the way I run through this or if you'd rather see it, see it done in a different way because ultimately I do want to have fun. This I, I want to have fun making these videos, but I also want to provide something to you guys that you find useful. That's it. Guys, have an amazing week. Later.